like to do a, a very brief introduction because some of you may not know these instruments. Um, this is a bass viola and a gamba. This happens to be a beautiful 18th century Swedish instrument that I'm lucky to have. Dabney is play, also playing a bass viola and a gamba. Marilyn and Biz are playing tenor viola and gambas. These are six stringed instruments that are a cross between a cello and a guitar. And on the recorder side, we have a contrabass, which is um, an instrument two octaves lower than um, an alto recorder. And then Larry is playing a great bass, which is two octaves lower than a soprano recorder. And Rebecca has a bass, and Bill has a tenor. And the piece we're going to play for you, Giovanni Gabrielli's Sonata Piane Forte, is um, particularly interesting. Um, Giovanni Gabrielli was the organist and the, the principal organist and the principal composer for the great um, Basilica of San Marco in Venice. He was born in around 1554 and he died in 1612. And, um, he started a, a style of music, or at least in Venice, they started a style of music that became very popular all over Europe for 50 years, called polychoral music, because the church was so big, and there was a choir loft way in one side, and another choir loft way in another side, and another choir loft back there, that they would have these multi-choir pieces all playing at the same time, and since the echo was so long, they had somebody standing in the crossing, conducting, so that the choirs would all sort of more or less stay together. And the piece that we're going to play is an instrumental polychoral piece. It's in two choirs, and we're playing it with a choir of viola da gambas and a choir of recorders. It's called the Sonata Piane Forte because piano, what does piano mean? It means play quietly. What does forte mean? It means play loudly. And this is, as far as we can tell, the very first piece that ever, where the composer ever wrote down that he wanted this part soft and that part loud. And it was published in 1597. <coughs>